Hey, sports card fans, it's John, Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. If you played Little League as a kid, I'm sure at some point you had thoughts, dreams of maybe someday becoming a major league baseball player. Except for me. I was terrible at Little League. I knew right away, even though I enjoyed it, I was not good. I had no future in professional baseball. But for those who were lucky enough to grow up and eventually make it to the major leagues, I'm sure every single one of them had a wish to someday win the World Series. Now, not everyone has the opportunity to win a World Series during their career. And there have been some great players, even Hall of Famers, who never won a World Series. Now, this video is a video response for the Drew A Vintage Legacy. Drew is celebrating reaching 200 subscribers for his channel. In fact, I think by now he's probably close to 300 subscribers since he announced this uh, contest video. So, Drew, congratulations. If you're not familiar with Drew's channel, of course, I'll have a link to his channel in the description of this video. So, if you're not familiar with him or his channel, definitely go check it out. Beyond having a great collection, mainly vintage, Drew is a great storyteller. Whether it be specific cards in his collection, how he uh, came about having those cards, or why he collected certain cards, uh, whether it be the background and history of the player, uh, the team, the set itself, uh, great information, knowledge, and uh, you know, again, above all, great storyteller of the cards that he shows off in his videos so definitely again go check his channel out so what drew wants us to do is show off uh, cards of at least two players who are hall of famers that never won a world series during their career and then a third player who's not a Hall of Famer, maybe a, a great player or some other player that has some personal connection to us who also never won a World Series. So what I decided to do is I'm going to show off a Hall of Fame pitcher and a Hall of Fame hitter that never won a World Series during their career. And for the non-Hall of Famer, I picked a player that has somewhat of a connection to me, and you'll see why. Not a Hall of Famer, a great player, someone who I think should be in the Hall of Fame, which is why I uh, collect him, hoping maybe one day he will get elected to the Hall of Fame. But as it is right now, he is not a Hall of Famer. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show off again two Hall of Famers and a non-Hall of Famer, all great players who have played the game but were unlucky enough to never win a World Series. The first Hall of Famer I'm going to highlight is Willie McCovey. Now, Willie McCovey played 22 years in the major leagues, won three home run titles, hit 521 home runs, the same career total as another Hall of Famer, some say one of the greatest to ever play the game, and also one who never won a World Series, Ted Williams. He did have a chance in 1962. The Giants were in the World Series against the Yankees, but lost in seven games. Now, what's interesting is throughout uh, Willie McCovey's career, predominantly with the Giants in the 60s, you know, you had Orlando Cepeda, you had Willie Mays, you had Juan Marichal and Gaylord Perry, two pitchers to never win a World Series. So there were some pretty good Giants teams back in the 1960s, but they were never able to win a World Series. So I'm going to show off some of my Willie McCovey cards here. And this first one here is the 69 Tops National League RBI leaders. Now this one actually happens to feature three Hall of Famers and all three never won a World Series. You have Willie McCovey and from the Cubs, Ron Santo and Billy Williams. Of course, you know, the Cubs were one of those teams like the Red Sox that uh, went a very long time in between World Series wins. 
So there's that 68 RBI leaders from 69 tops. Then I have his 1971 tops. His 75 tops. Nineteen seventy six with the Padres. Actually his seventy five was with the Padres as well. Seventy seven, he was back with the Giants. Seventy eight record breaker. His regular seventy eight tops. Really like that card. Is 79 and his 1980. All right, now for the Hall of Fame pitcher, I decided to go with Fergie Jenkins. Now, Fergie Jenkins played 19 seasons. He played for teams such as the Philadelphia Phillies for a couple years, Chicago Cubs, Texas Rangers, and the Red Sox. Uh, he came to the Red Sox after the 75 World Series, but it wouldn't have mattered because the Red Sox did not win in 1975 either. So throughout those 19 years, played for various teams, but some of them weren't that good, even though he was outstanding. Um... 20 game winner multiple times, uh, over 3,000 strikeouts, Hall of Famer, but never was on a World Series winning team. So here are my Fergie Jenkins cards. The oldest one I have, unfortunately, uh, right now is his 76 Tops Traded, in which he came from, I think it was the Rangers. Yep, he was a. Uh, Seven-time 20-game winner at the time was dealt from the Rangers to the Red Sox. So you can see that airbrushing going on there. And then I have his 1977 with the Red Sox. His 78 with the Red Sox. One of my favorite cars of him. Is 79 tops back with the Rangers. And finally, his 1980 tops also with the Rangers. So, again, a great Hall of Famer hitter, Willie McCovey, member of the 500 home run club, just never able to put it together with the Giants or the Padres. Uh, to win a World Series and Fergie Jenkins, multiple teams, all of which just did not have it enough to, to, to win a World Series. All right, so my non Hall of Famer, I went with, and again, it, it this may be sort of a easy choice uh, because you could go with multiple Hall of Famers from this team because as i mentioned with the cubs having a long drought between world series so did the boston red sox so my non-hall of famer who i feel should be someday elected to the hall of fame that's just my personal opinion but uh, has some pretty good career stats and that's dwight evans now dwight evans i believe played his entire career with the red sox except his final year I want to say 1991, uh, he played for the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, but other than that, his entire career was with the Boston Red Sox. So I'm going to show off my Dwight Evans cards. My oldest one here is his 1975 Tops. I just, oh, I love this card. Love the colors. Um, combination here for the uh, the. Red Sox logo and just all that stuff. Just love the overall look of that card. It's over here. All right, then I have his 77 tops. I like this image as well. I'm hoping maybe someday to do a uh, complete player run. I 
I'm not sure if I'll take it into the 80s and 90s, but at least for the vintage era. So I'm missing his 73 rookie, his 74, and his 76. I think that's all I'm missing. If I was his 77, then one of my favorite 78s. I just, there's something about that batting helmet. Um, the, the colors just go great with this card. You have uh, the little patch there on the jersey. It's 1978 Tops card. Then 79. And finally, his 1980. There you go. Two great players, Hall of Famers, Willie McCovey and Fergie Jenkins. Unlucky to never have been on a World Series winning team, and Dwight Evans, who I believe should someday be in the Hall of Fame, but also another player who never won a World Series. Congratulations again to Drew. Definitely go check out his channel. With that, that's all I have for you. So until next time, thanks for watching.